Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the only what I see the truth study and prayer line on this 12th day in January 2024. 20, 24 and some more, y'all, let's get it. Back at it like a fanatic. Don't leave. Come on, y'all. Don't leave. Part two. Come on, y'all. Don't leave. Let's look at it. Theme scripture, John 6, 66 through 68. Look what it say. Um, it says... From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Um, I want to deal with that some more. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him, you know, no more. Um, It's part two, y'all. So let's go back up again. Let's go to uh, 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Hold on, y'all. Thank the most high for Yosef being in here. Elder Yosef, Ed, I see you in the building. My niece is up in here as well. Randall, feel better, man. Praying for your health. Clean bill of health, fee in the building. Big sis, praying for a clean bill of health. Al Mal, my pal, is in the building. Demina, I see you in here. My mom is in here too, Leslie Sutton. Uh-huh. Let's rock with it, y'all. Let's rock with it, Teresa. Now, I want to do John six fifty one. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. He's reversing some stuff right there. That that's the big, you know, that that's the uh, seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. That's how hard he gonna stomp on his head. He gonna stomp his kingdom. He gonna stomp his head so 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 hard that he gonna bruise his heel. Are y'all with me? I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Look what he said. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. Now, again, looking at Jeremiah 31. Why not? So let's go to it. Jeremiah 31. Why didn't it do it? I just did Jeremiah. I'm going to do it again. Okay. Got it. 31 and 31. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Caitlin, good to see you in here, sweetheart. Put up a cheer, we in here. Nicole Robinson, Barbara in the building. Um, Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah. This was a prophecy, Logan, from Torah. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, 
that I that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with and with the house of of Judah. Right? In the wilderness in in the uh writings, right? The Old Testament the bread that came from heaven was like this wafer that they ate and it was deemed to be the bread from heaven which was symbolic of the true bread that will be coming so when you look at Jeremiah it's forecasting the new covenant when we're reading in John he's in the writing the writings as well in Isaiah 40 Right? The voice of one crying in the wilderness, making a straight path for Yah. Right? Well, we're reading in John 6, that's the voice of one crying in the wilderness. This is, this is the new covenant in full effect. <laughs> According to Jeremiah 31, 31, it says, Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Y'all see the problem? They, 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 they broke it. They didn't keep the covenant. They went against it. But that was just a Shadow and type a prelude to the new covenant, uh, JB. There's going to be a new covenant that will prove to be more effective because <laughs> the first one they, they they broke it. So 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 the Most High was coming with one uh, that 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 wouldn't be broken. It would be filled with restoration. It would be filled with restoration. Yeah. There was going to be a new one. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand and brought them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke. That's the problem. Although I was a husband unto them, says Yahuwah. So 33, he's going to tell us what it is. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Yahuwah. I will put my law in their inward parts. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts. And I'll be their Elohim and they should, they should be my people. Yeah, it's going to be a closer relationship. And where the word going to be? Because in, 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 in Torah, in, in the Old Covenant, so-called Old Covenant, it was written on stone. His word was written on stone. What he wanted them to do was written on stones, tables, tables of stone. Or in the in, in in the new in the new covenant, but this but this shall be the covenant I'll make with the house of Israel after those days, says you I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts. Y'all see the difference? The word was on stone. No, the stone is gone. Now he gonna put it in the inward parts. So as opposed to the word being on stone and you just reading it. We're going we're gonna to have an intimate relationship with him. And, and, and the word is going to be in our hearts. And we're going to meditate in that word both day and night. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to be true children uh, 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 of Yah. We're not going to be running around having church folk. We 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 gonna be we gonna be a, a, a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. His word is able to transform us and change us by the renewing of our mind. That 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 that's that's the new. You 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 give me a group of people with with commandments on stone or even written on paper. And then you give me a group of people where the word is in their heart. See the difference? 
You got a, a religious group of people with, with, with religious rituals, with commandments on stone, versus a people with it in their heart. That's the new covenant. The renewed. It's the same covenant, it's just renewed. Back to John 6, 51. Look what it said. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. Okay, so there's a a bread, the real bread that came down from heaven. The Messiah said, that's me. And he said, if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. You got to eat it. Yeah, you got to you got to eat it. You got to you got to consume it. Not only do you have to consume it, chew it, and swallow it, but you got to digest it. Because if you do, you're gonna live forever. You're reconciled back with the Creator, and your mind will now be transformed into His image. Are y'all with me? So. The 52nd verse then says, The Jews therefore strove amongst themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? See, they took it carnally. He was talking spiritual. When a person take the word carnally, can they eat it? No. When a person is dealing with the word of Yah and they're interpreting it carnally, can they live it? No. And they're not. And the proof is in the pudding. You got people that that listen to the word all the time and read the word. But they don't do it. The new covenant is eating it. It's the most high positioning us to be able to absorb the word. To digest the word. The difference between the old covenant and the new covenant is he baptized himself inside of us, enabling us to absorb the word, to digest the word, to properly interpret the word. Bible teaches, and all thy getting, get an understanding. So when the Messiah was talking about, I stood at the door and I knocked, uh, mean Yahoo. When he said, I stood at the door and I knocked, if any man here opened up and let me in, I will sup with them. And sup is short for supper. He going he gonna to have dinner with us. And, the, and, and what's on the menu is the word of Yah. And he's the one cooking it up. And he's the one that's going to interpret it for you and help you digest it. So that the word is not on stone, now it's written on the tables of your heart. Because you heard the word, he stood at the door and knocked. This is just metaphoric language. But he stood at the door and knocked, meaning do you hear the word? Do you want to let me in your heart? I don't want to be on stone no more. Outside of you. I don't want to be religion no more. I want to be relationship. I want to enter into a relationship with you. So he stood at the door and knocked. Notice, he didn't kick it in. He didn't kick the door in. He can't help you if he kick it in. He forced his way into your life, uh, G-Money? No. G-Man? Don Deems? He not forcing you to do nothing. If you want to lay up and screw, lay up and screw. If you want to lay around and get high, lay around and get high. If you want to be a street, go on and be street. I see you, Bree. He stood at the door and knocked. I was teaching the other day, y'all, in the last session that we did, and, and I said in the last series that we did, I said help don't help unless you won't help. The reason why the Messiah didn't kick in the door, he stood and knocked instead, because you got to let him in. 
And if you let him in, he can take you through the transformation process. You letting him in, you letting him in uh, qualifies you as a believer. He's not forcing nobody to do nothing. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him, this is for the believer. The believer heard the word, heard him knocking, opened up and let the word in. The word ain't forcing his way. I can go commit adultery right now. I also can go get drunk and high right now. I also can chime out right now. I can just log off right now and start cussing. Or I can stay on and start cussing. Ain't nobody forcing me to do this. Period. Nobody forcing me to do nothing. It's big decisions jumping off. He stood at the door and knocked at my heart. He didn't kick the door in. It was up to me to let him in. It's up to you to let him in. But he said, if you do let me in, I'm going to reveal the word to you. Because obviously these people didn't know what he was talking about. If they were interested in what he was talking about, he'll break it down to them too. He will break it down to them. Emmanuel. Shalom, brother. Listen, 52nd verse, John 6, 52. Then the Jews therefore stro strove amongst themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? They didn't understand. 53, then Yahushua said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Did, uh, uh, Bev, you in here? Did, did he stop and break it down to them? Did he stop and break it down to them? Did he make it more plain? I'm going to tell you without asking y'all to put in whether you believe he broke it down to them or not. I'm going to tell you he did not. He kept with the same dialogue. Right? Look at 51. I'm going to show you. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. That's metaphoric language. He could have just said, I'm the word, and you need to believe what I say so you can live. He didn't say that. He said, I, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Not only did he not say that, but he also was letting you know he was fulfilling prophecy. He's the true bread. that they, they thought Israel thought they already had the true bread, the honey wafers in the wilderness for them to eat. The Messiah said, no, nah, I'm the bread. He's showing that he's fulfilling scripture, but he didn't break it down to them. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I, I, I will give for the life of the world. He said, I'm giving my flesh for the life of the world. Was it true? Yeah. Did they understand it? No. Because the 52nd verse then says, the Jews therefore strove amongst themselves, saying, how can this man give us of his flesh to eat? They didn't understand what he was talking about. Did he break it down to them? Let's see. 53rd verse. Then Yahushua said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Did he break it down? No. No. Is he still telling the truth? Yes. Is everything he said true? Yeah. But did they understand it? No. Because he was speaking in parables. I taught y'all about that. Latricia Johnson. He spoke in parables that seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing they may hear and not understand Least they be converted and their sins be forgiven them. I'm telling you, people want to be forgiven, but they don't want to be converted. Do y'all understand that? People want their sins forgiven. A lot of people uh, uh, fellowship because they want to be forgiven. They want to skip the wrath to come. They want to be forgiven, but they don't want to be the living. They don't want to live it, y'all. They don't want to be converted. Converted means you're going to stop sinning and start obeying him. Folks don't want that. 
who they going to bed with, they, they plan to continue going to bed with them. Though it goes against Yah. I'm not talking about those that's going to bed and they married. I'm talking about folks that's going to bed and not, not supposed to. They don't plan on allowing the word to stop them from going to bed who they want to sleep with. They don't, they don't plan on allowing the word to dictate uh, their fellowship. They don't, they don't want the word to come and change, stop them from doing what they want to do. So because of that, the Most High allowed the Messiah or even as the Messiah, right, didn't break it down unless you really wanted it. You got a hunger and thirst for righteousness. He said, he told them when the disciples asked him, why are you speaking to them in parables? He said, it's given on to you to know the mystery. But to them that are without in parables, because they don't want it anyway. You listen carnal mindedly. You know, you, he, he'll, he'll start breaking it down as soon as you prove that you want it. <clears throat> In Mark 4, it disclosed to us that some people stayed behind after everyone left, after the crowd left, because they really wanted to understand the parable, the parabolistic language, just like this is. They want to understand what he was really saying. And he said, it's given on to you to know the mystery. Because you got some folks that really want to understand so they can do it. You got some folks that will listen, but they don't plan on doing it. So they don't get it. 53. So Yahushua said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh. He didn't change none. He just kept going. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Let me give you another pointer. You notice in the 52nd verse, the Jews therefore strove amongst who? Themselves. They didn't go to the Messiah. And you got folks that don't take it to Yah. Because they don't have a relationship with, 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 with um, Yah. They got a relationship with each other. So they strove amongst themselves saying, how can this man give us flesh to eat? They should have asked the most high. The, 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 the Mashiach was right there teaching. They could have asked him. They didn't. They strove amongst themselves. He kept teaching like he was doing. 54 first, look what it says. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up the last day. So we see the importance eating his flesh and drinking his blood. But we got to have the true meaning. Listen, Demena. We got to have the true meaning of eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Right? Because if you do that, you got eternal life. And I will raise him up the last day. 55. For my flesh is meat indeed. <clears throat> meat. Oh, that sounds cannibalistic, but... What kind of meat is it? It's the word. It's mankind being reconciled with the word of Yah. That's our food. Man does not live. Uh, 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 Mark, uh, 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 Matthew 4 and 4 say, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yah. Man does not live by bread alone. Bread is meat, food, in other words. But man don't live by that food only, but by every word, because that's food too, spiritual food. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Right? Drinking the blood is partaking in the new, the renewed covenant. What we just read in Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. You're partaking in the creator's word. And through his word, you're being transformed by the renewing of your mind. You're being translated into the kingdom of his dear son. We're becoming his sons. Straight up. We're becoming his children. Are y'all with me? 56. He that eateth 
my flesh and drinking my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Right? If you're eating the word, digesting the word, right? And drinking, partaking of the new covenant, right? You're dwelling in him and he's dwelling in you. You're dwelling in the word. You're dwelling in the word. You're meditating in the word both day and night. All day, Teresa. Teresa said, Moses told us that in the wilderness as well. And it all fits and is pointing to Yahushua. 100%. That's what's going down in the town. Listen to them. 56 verse. He that eateth, eateth my flesh, you're eating the word. And drinking uh, my blood, you're partaking in his death. Therefore, thereby partaking in the signature, which was his blood of the will and testament. Are y'all with me? You doing that? You're dwelling in me, which is your dwelling in the word. He was the word made flesh. John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And I in him. And the word is thereby, thereby dwelling in you. It's hid in your heart that you might not sin against it. Put a one in here if y'all with me. Put a one in here if y'all with me. Put a two in here if you agree. Put a one in here if you're still with me. Put a two in here if you agree. I know y'all in here a conference line. 57 verse. Look what it say. And it's as the living father, listen, and as the living father has sent me and I live by the father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Are y'all with me? He said, as the living father has sent me, he said, the father is alive. And he has sent me. And I live by the father. What's the father? The word, John 1 to 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. John 6 and 6, 3 said, It's the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. The word is life. It's living. That's the living father. What makes you a father is you're a creator. Well, how did y'all create? Through the word. The word is the father. That's so, that might went over somebody's head, but I'm still going to tell the truth. What makes you a father? Father is a title. Son is a title. Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, those are all three titles. Those are not names. And the title father, you are the father or a mother until you had a child. What made me a father is because I had children. What's the father? The word. The Most High took the dirt, the red dirt, the red clay, like this, our skin, melanate, me melanated skin. He took the dirt, deep in the earth dirt, pulled it out, and when he formed it to a man, he breathed the word in him, and he became a living soul. That's the Father. Listen. 57 verse says, as the living father has sent me, what sent he? Didn't he say, I come in the volume of the book to do thy will? Didn't the most high say the word is going out of my mouth and shall not return void? The word sent him. He said he got to do what's written of him. I'm trying to teach y'all. Listen. As the living father has sent me, and I live by the father, he lit the, the human being, that body, lived by the word. And as the living father has sent me, I live by the father. So he that eateth me, if you eat the word, you, you shall also live by me. What is that? The word. <laughs> He's the word made flesh. You notice he never promoted his flesh. He promoted the word. 
rich young ruler ran to him and said, good master. He said, why are you calling me good? There's none good but Yah. He was referring him back to the father. What's the father? The word. Not this body. Not the human part of him. Oh, I'm trying to. The, the human part of him was the, was the lamb that was going to be slain on the tree for you and me. Talk back to me. I'm in there, uh, Demina. Talk back to me. As, as the living father has sent me, listen. As the living father has sent me, I live by the father. As the living father has sent me, that's how I live. The word sent me, and that's how I live, by the word. So he that eateth me, what is that? The word. Even he shall live by me. You're going to live by the word. <clears throat> Y'all ready for this? If you're learning something, put a two in here. If you're learning something, put a two in here. If you already knew it, I'm interested. If you already knew it, put a three in here. If you already knew exactly what I'm teaching, put a three in here. If you're learning something, put a two in here. I just want to see. Listen. If you're learning something, put a two in here. If you already knew it, put a three in here. That the Father, the Word is teaching that the Father is the Word. The Father is. The Father. The Father is the Word. <clears throat> Talk back to me. Listen. <clears throat> Listen. 58 verse says, This is the bread that came down from heaven, not as your fa fathers did eat manna and are dead. Because they ate a honey wafer. That was a miracle. It was a good thing. It was a bread from heaven, but it was symbolism. It was symbolic of the true bread that was going to come down. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. Listen, this is the bread that came down from heaven, not comparison analysis of the two breads, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth this bread shall live forever because we're reconciled back with the word of Yah from the beginning. This is the reverse of the curse when Adam went against the word. Adam went against the word in the beginning. This is full circle. How we know it's true. Anyone that's partaken in the word, the most high showed up in your personal life. Anyone, how do we know it's true? How do we know it's true? Because we're literally being reconciled with the words of the creator right now. Sudden. We're, 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 we're literally being reunited with the word right now. And we're going through a mind renewal process right now. And he's disclosing where we are and who we are amongst. He show sure is. And he's revealing us who we are. And, and, and we're being made alive spiritually, Jasmine. We're being made alive spiritually. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. Yeah. If any man be the Messiah, he's a new creation. You know if you're a new creation or not. Old things have passed away. Who you used to be is passed away. All things have become new. Now you're being recreated in the image of him that created you. How do we know? Man, because, man, we got so many experiences. Don't we believe us? How many of y'all got experiences with y'all? Put a three up in here. Come on now. Put a three up in here. Put a three up in here. Talk back to me. Put a three up in here. Hallelujah. You know Yah is working in your life, in your heart, transforming you into his image. You already know what it is. Yeah. Uh-huh. 58. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat man and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. You're you going to live forever. 
the, these things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum, right? Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? This is where the problem is starting to brew. Because you got folks that don't understand the Bible, don't understand the most high, and they walk away. And that, that's a sad sight, too. Flight. That's a sad sight. Listen. Or John 6 and 60. Uh-huh. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? And when Yahushua knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, <coughs> he said unto them, does this offend you? Um, I know a lot of stuff that I teach offend people. That's why the ministry is so small. <laughs> uh, I laugh, but in all honesty, I laugh it off. Because I'm not, I'm not happy about that. You got people that so caught up in Catholicism. You got some people that, that, that have a form of yalliness but deny the power thereof because they shine away from the responsibility associated with being with Yah. We got to fast. We got to pray. We got to give. We got to give. We got to assemble. We got to stu sh study to show ourselves approved. We got we to gotta let his love be uh, the source of our conflict resolution skills. We got to. We, we got to. It's not a choice. We've been bought with a price and our life is no longer our own. And unfortunately, I showed y'all in uh, John 3, it said people don't like the light because their deeds are evil. When you live a wicked life, you don't agree with the word. You can be religious all you want. You can listen to minister after minister after minister after minister, but it don't do nothing. That don't, that don't, what, what does something is when you receive the word and you allow the word to transform you. And you can see your life change. Your heart will change. Your heart will change. I'm trying to tell you something. Your heart will change. So here's where the problem started. In 60, many therefore his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? You're right, flight. But 60, therefore, many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? And, and when Yahushua knew in himself that disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, does this offend you? Is this, is this bothering you? If we go deeper, listen, if we go deeper, what's offended is their natural nature, their human nature. That's what's offended. Yeah. So the 62nd verse then says, what if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? And the disciples end up seeing him. Acts, the first chapter, it shows. And he said he coming back in like manner. They seen him lifted up in the clouds. And then the angels said, why are you standing here gazing? Oh, he coming back in like manner. You see, you see, you see how he leaving? He coming back that way, right? So, 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 he said to them, for further solidification of what he's saying. What in if you see the son of man ascending up where he was before? It's the spirit that makes you alive. That's what quickeneth mean. It's the spirit that makes you alive. The flesh profits nothing. This is not for your carnal nature. Your carnal nature do not profit. Your, 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 what, what it look like, what it smell like, what it tastes like, what it sound like, what it feel like, don't profit. You being horny or lonely or upset, that ain't profiting in this. Y'all didn't come to minister to that. Y'all came to deliver you from that. 
your little feelings. Y'all ain't tripping off. Y'all trying to save your eternal soul. Your little wicked feelings is in the way. We got to roll what's right. Even when it don't feel right. You don't want it. You don't want folks be thinking I'm being fake because you're being nice because you're struggling. Your flesh is telling you don't like somebody. I ain't fake. You better do what y'all say and quit listening to your crazy flesh. I don't want to be fake. You better keep on loving it. If your enemy thirsts, give him some water. Real talk. You do it every day. Yeah. You work with folks that can't stand your guts. Your boss could be, uh, 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 feel like the climate of this country against you. Better, better. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. I, don't, I ain't fake. I don't. Check this out. If my if my emotions told me I don't like somebody, I rebuke it. You can't tell me who to like and who not to like. I'm talking to my evil nature, but you got to know that. I ain't fake. What's fake is your flesh telling you not to like them. That's what's fake. Trying to stop you from forgiving all the crap we done done in our life. You got a lot of nerve holding grudges against somebody. You did some filthy stuff too. Now some of the stuff that happens to us do hurt. And it should hurt and it would hurt. That's why it did hurt. But you can't let that be the reason that you're going to dig your heels in and, and hold a grudge. Oh, I'm trying to help somebody. 63 says, it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. But there are some of you that believe not, Yahushua knew from the beginning who they were, which believe not and should betray him. You're going to have that. And he said, therefore I say unto you that no man can come unto me except it was given to him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. And the reason why they didn't, because they was offended in their flesh. Don't you let your flesh cause you to walk away from Yah. Word come to do your wig, you dig? Trying to help you, trying to take you through the mind renewal process. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? Don't you let don't you let your flesh mistreat people. <clears throat> Being funny style of the folk, you don't want to do that. Ain't nothing wrong with staying away from wicked people. But you can't be accusing them of being wicked and they ain't, one. And two, you got to always give room for reconciliation. There are people in my life that I know that it's proven to me to hate me, don't have my best interest at heart, and would harm me every opportunity they get. I just stay away from them. If they came to me, I'm not avoiding them. If they come, I'm going to deal with them. And if they make any move that look like they haven't repented, I'm backing up off of them. I'm talking about somebody's proven to not be cool. I don't have a day-to-day -day, uh, relationship with them because they've proven to me. But if they need something from me, I'm there. And if they come around me, I'm not acting funny. And if they come around me and they be cool, and they came around me the next day, I'd be cool again. And they came around me the next day again, I'd be cool again. And they come around me the next day, I'd be cool again. And then if they flash back into that mess, I'm backing up off of them. Y'all understand what I'm trying to teach you? Just trying to, trying to show, I'm not in a position uh, to, to, <laughs> I don't, I don't, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not holding no grudges. Mm -mm. I'd apologize for some folks for about uh, 20 years now. <laughs> Been apologized. They still ain't. They accepted the apology about 40, 70, 50 times. And back then, then next time I seen they mad again. <sighs> for nothing. Ain't even seen me. Since I apologized. 
what can you do? But pray for them. But I ain't messing with them. 66, y'all. From that time, many of the disciples went back and walked no more with him. Why do people walk away? Because their lifestyle is evil. You hear what I'm saying? Their lifestyle is evil. Y'all with me? You hear me, Demina? Their lifestyle is evil. People leave y'all because they, they ain't going to cooperate. They decide, nah, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? I can't hear this. I'm gone. Oh, y'all with me? Put a three in here if, if, if y'all if y'all with me. Put a three in here if y'all with me. Put put a put a put a phone in here if you made up your mind you're gonna follow him even if it hurt. Even if it hurt your flesh. You still gonna do what's right. What I mean by follow him, I'm not talking about that religious mess. I'm talking about you gonna do what he say. Put a four in here if you decided you're going to do what he said. You're going to show up because he says show up, not because you feel like it. You're going to love and forgive. You're going to do what he told you to do, whether you want to or not, because you're not going to allow your flesh to dictate to you. You're led by his spirit, not by your emotions. You're led by his spirit. Listen. You led by his spirit, not how you feel. You're going to do what's right even when you don't feel like it. I do it all the time. You do what's right because it's right. Because y'all told you to do it. Are y'all with me? Right on, flight. Barbara, I see you in here. Caitlin. Nice, good to see you in here. Hallelujah. Put five on it. Let's pray. Put five on it. Those who's willing, put five in here. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Homies know how we're in your presence because we love you. We need you desperately. Continue to send your word to us. Continue the transformation process. Boy, we, we want to leave, but we're going to cleave to you. This flesh be telling us to quit. Go have sex. Go, you deserve some dope. You deserve. Go, it's just, I'm done. Go, go fight. Go whoop they behind. Just all the flesh trying to get us to leave. We ain't going nowhere. We're not leaving you. We're not leaving you. And leaving you is not. A verbal it's a lifestyle it includes verbal but it's a lifestyle it's a life we're not leaving don't leave y'all stay with him y'all are crying out to you keep your children by the power of your word and we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor not only now but forever in the master's name you who shall we humbly pray hallelujah and i'm on my pleasure of flight uh uh, uh redmond coats uh Joshua. Uh -huh. you, you good, Bev? You good out there? <clears throat> Al, Al, Mal, y'all good? Ed, niece, everybody good? Fee? <clears throat> T. Mill. Oh, he gone. Mother in law. All right, y'all. All right, Elder. Everybody good? Yeah, I love all y'all. G Money. I love all y'all. All right, y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Hallelujah. Pray for, for pray for everybody. Uh, come on, y'all. Pray for everybody. Name my name so much. So pray for all of our health. Pray to the most high keep us. Get closer to him. Danielle, let's all get closer to him. Is that okay? Okay. We all, we, we're we going to continue to pray for Charmaine and her family. And uh, Leroy and Mother Joyce and my mom and my son, Neil. Uh, Al Mal and his help, my, my sister's husband, Mike, Steve, and Chuck. Hallelujah. Charles People. So I'm talking about and Randall and his health. He's been having some health issues, but the most high already healing him now. 
Apollo. He just got to recognize it. Continue to strengthen, you know, Ed. Take him higher than you, Yahuwah. We believe you for it and we celebrate that soldier in Yahushua's name. Is that all right? Y'all, thank everybody that puts the share button. Thank everybody that puts the share button, sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Think about the tag. you tagging folks. That's how you witness. Another way to witness, inviting folks in. And uh, thank everybody that financially support the ministry because it's good to sow where you grow. You grow here, you should sow here. Is that all right? Y'all want to talk about the word? 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Um, 815648. Is that all right? Thank you, Fly. Made the Ruach Kadesh. How could I get it? Yeah, thank you. All right, y'all. Shalom. I'm gone.